It's not every day that you get to see a water plane land right in the middle of a busy anchorage. But that's exactly what we got here at Big Majors. I guess some tourists wanted to go see the swimming pigs. So I decided to jump in the dinghy with Coral to get a closer look, which gave Alex some time to clean up the boat and get it ready to sail north to the Exumas. It's a different kind of boat, isn't it? boats around us. There's like super yachts everywhere. Last time we were here there was a lot of sailboats but this time but with big boats everywhere everywhere. So impromptu stop. We were basing it on if Coral would wake up or not and she woke up in time. So we are we just anchored off of Sandy Cay and we'll go for a little stroll on the beach, a little swim and then carry on. I like these little steps. That's the beauty of the Exumas. All the caves are really, really close by. This is such a neat little area. Bunch of little caves, sandbars. And I think we're gonna go for a little swim. Oh. I think she likes it. We've had so many people tell us that we were courageous sending sail to the Bahamas with a four-month-old baby. I didn't even think about it or second-guess our choice. But the truth is, I really didn't know what we were getting ourselves into. It's like sailing. We think we know it well, but then something new breaks down or we end up into some rougher weather than what we're comfortable with. And then the confidence gets challenged. Okay, mom. Can you reach her? These last few months have proven to us that being a parent is pretty much the same. One day she's throwing up while the swell picks up. The next day we turn around to notice that she's half holding herself up in the ladder. We've also slowed down and now we cherish every moment much more. Knowing fully that time is fleeting and before we know it she'll be driving our sailboat. Sure, we can't snorkel together for now, but we're also experiencing cruising differently because of her. Water is so warm this time of year, it's nice. It really does cool you off though on the hotter days, but at least today we got a nice breeze, so it's kind of a good temperature anyway. What a gorgeous cave this is. Our friends were wondering where the sand dollar was, so Alex told them to grab one. We just saw it on the beach. So for those of you that want to, don't know, that's what it looks like. One thing I will never regret is that we did not change our lifestyle or put our dreams on hold because of her. <laughs> Look at that view! Maybe the innocence of a child is key to connecting more with locals and giving a new set of eyes on life. That feeling of doing, seeing, smelling and touching everything for the very first time once again. After soaking in the beauty, we continued our hop over to Pipe K. We're having frozen lobster on our pasta. It's been a long time since we've had lobster, so that's exciting. Yum. Mm. Mom, Dad, I got this. We're going somewhere. We're not spending the night here. It's 
It's a little rolly over there, eh? I know, those down ones sail. Mm. I was like, there was lots of wind, but it feels like there's no more wind because we're going downwind. <laughs> I meant more where the anchorage was, it was pretty rolly. Oh, I know, like I didn't sleep that good. So we're picking up anchor, maybe five hours sail, drop anchor, explore wherever we are. Maybe Hawks be okay? We'll see. These two boats don't know it, but we're in a race. <laughs> Are we winning? It is a slow kind of day. Actually, I think now we're doing about 4.4 knots, which is amazing because we were having trouble doing three knots earlier. Yeah, we're winning, Coral. We're gonna beat them. I'd like to set up the spinnaker, but it's a little wavy. We're about to make lunch and we gotta watch Coral. Exactly. And it's a little more difficult to set up the spinnaker with just one person. Okay, yeah. show mom's move. Yeah? We She's like, we need more nudity in this. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's coming out. Actually, I don't know if Coral prefers the peanut butter or the maple syrup. Or the pancakes. Yummy. Mm hmm Really, really good. Actually, you can do Coral well, pretty good. Mm -hmm. Yum. Mm -hmm. <laughs> In the jungle, the mighty jungle, the lion sleeps tonight. Hey, Coral, nice peaceful still. No throwing up for Miss Coral today. Yay! Oh. This stormy cumulonimbus cloud kept growing and moving closer to us. The race is on, although we're moving way too slow. We got some storms to try to outrun. So we're running the engine and seeing if we can beat this guy. I also got the pole out to keep that sail a little more full. So fast thoughts, but now I can't move because she's gonna wake up. Frozen berries are the best when it's 30 degrees. Do you want some, sweetie? Mm, yeah. Yeah, my. Gonna go on a little land adventure on Hawks Bill okay? Filling up some water with the jug because our pump is not working, which we're gonna have to fix when we come back. Little rash guard. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Daddy's doing it wrong. Daddy's doing it wrong. <laughs> that goes with the widest part of the head. Hey, the other way around. Tell daddy. Tell daddy. That's it, that way. Oh, there we go, there we go. <laughs> She's like, but I'm naked, baby. <laughs> oh, through your head. Oh, there we go. There we go. Now the arms. Oh, no. <laughs> we have coral head here on the way to the beach, so I'm gonna hop in, cool off, and see what's there. See you soon. You know the adventure is going to be good when you're greeted with a sea turtle and a little lemon shark that came in for a really close look. Time to check out what Hawksbill K has to offer. We heard that if you anchor by the southwest anchorage, where there's some mooring buoys, there is a trail that follows the mangroves and leads you to a beach on the Exuma Sound side. The water is just warmer than bathtub in here. Wow, you can see the whole mangrove is flowing out. And I would not miss out on a little 
little bit of a hike, especially if there's a viewpoint. It's a really cool spot. It's beautiful here. We follow the water, which is flowing out of the mangroves, and search for the trail. It kind of gets a little too deep to walk in, especially with coral in my arms. So I veer right in hopes of finding some sort of signs or markers or anything. This is nice! Nana adventure in the mangroves! Why are you taking me here? <laughs> ah. Gross! Yuck. I know. Try to go rinse those so that it's not sliding inside. Whew. Thank God for this little pool. I know. Oh God, it, go, it goes deep. <laughs> How was that shortcut? <laughs> um, I think I'm gonna follow the other trail that I used before, following all the cairns, the little rock piles. Ah, much better. The other one. Whoops. It's the ancient steel drum coral made out of rock from the Bahamas. This is the rock dance. Like, what is this? <laughs> now where do we go? Um. Oh, there's a huh? another cairn with a green flag over there. <laughs> Good eyes. Let's try. I would have thought over there. I guess we, we got a way to cross here and they use the rocks so we don't have to go through so much muck. Let's find out. <laughs> this is so cool. <laughs> So worth walking across the island. It's beautiful. Pretty cool, pretty cool. We can go diving. A brand new cylinder, it only needs a little bit of surfacing. Only a couple holes. Water break for everyone. Don't pull on it with your teeth, you're supposed to drink the water. Mommy gorilla carrying her baby through the jungle. <laughs> I know, right? Coral's living a lot of adventures for an eight months old. I think she's tired. Time for That's a nap, time. sweetheart? Nap time? Yep. Let's go. Oh, watch out for this. If, any, if anybody sees uh, this kind of plant where the stem is yellow, it's supposed to be poison. I, I haven't noticed much of a effect for myself, but some people are allergic to it. So try not to brush up against too many of these in the Bahamas. Uh, the yellow stem on the leaf is the distinction. I don't know, I got a spider on me. Hanging down. Get off my dreads. <laughs> Get off, there you go. Go back home. Live your life within the bone. What is you? Million dollar worth. Let us 
What temperature do you think this water is? It's gonna be 35. It's like super, super hot. Wow. Not it's refreshing. Like, no, not refreshing. Don't want to sit in it. <laughs> but it's it's nice. It's just yeah. It's like boiling water. <laughs> If you stop at Hawksbill Cay, go for that nice little trail. Totally worth it. But bring good footwear, lots of water, and a camera. It's a nice stretch for the legs. But now we have to return home to fix the water pump before supper, hopefully. Dishes are piling up. Started again, a complete mess of the cockpit. This time, we have a water pump issue. It's kind of weird. Uh, I thought maybe there was just air in the lines because it was kind of turning on for a little while and turning off. We don't have any leaks in the system, so there should be no reason why the water pump is turning on. Now the water pump will turn on with the faucet open and there doesn't seem to be a blockage before the water pump. So let's see how it goes. And Coral is staying very entertained with her toys, but she's getting on the stove. No, Coral, no, no, no. Oh, I'm helping you, Mommy. We're gonna cook. Is this the moment of truth? Yeah, we'll find out. See if it works. Turn on the breaker. Yee! And you'll have to turn on the top to take the air out. Okay, let's do this. Water pressure. Yeah. Is it working normal? Yeah, now it's working normal. Before it was stop and go. Uh, anyway, it's working. I'm gonna have to keep a close eye on it and play around with it. But there's a little bolt on the side that adjusts the spring tension on off relay inside there, the little switch. Anyway, it seems like it's made a difference playing around with that setting. So we'll see how it goes. 